Hello, and welcome to the 136th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Brucker, and I'm coming to you live today from Casa de Brucker, where we're going to be sampling another outstanding beer. We're going to have today a Belgian beer called Nice Schoof from Le Schoof Brewing Company, or a Schoof Brewery in uh, a Schoof, Belgium. So um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna crack this open and we're gonna talk about it. Now, one of my things I love about this beer, besides it being just an outstanding beer, is the beautiful work they did here with the two gnomes on here with a little fire hanging out by the fire on the front and the same uh, artwork on the lid. So they go to great detail to make sure we have neat bottles and uh, neat caps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that right there. So this beer rates 91 out of 100. So this is an outstanding beer. And I'm gonna have to agree, I might even give it higher than a uh, 91 out of 100 because I really, really like the Le Chouf Nice. It is really a nice beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. Now, as you see, I'm getting kind of a, a big head because I do believe that with a great beer like this, you really want to release all the flavors in there. And then you want to swirl it towards the end because that gets the sediment into the beer equally distributed in there, okay? I poured it into one of my favorite glasses, the Delirium Noel glass, since it is a Christmas beer. This is actually considered a, a strong ale or a Belgian dark. Um, and as you can see, it is a pretty dark uh, brown color with an off-white tannish head. We got a little bit over an inch of uh, head on there so we can get the flavors in there. The beer clocks in at 10% uh, alcohol by volume, so it's not one you're gonna sit around by the pool and uh, uh, pound all day long. Um, and it is their rendition of uh, Christmas ale. So there's some unique spices in it. There's a uh, um, thyme, uh, that they put in there, and then Curacao, which is interesting. So right off the bat, I get like a, almost like a brown sugar. Definitely some fruit, like dark fruit. Definitely malty, and then you do smell that uh, good Belgian yeast that I always talk about. I, I can smell that out like instantaneously. Some people don't really get that smell, but I can smell it. Every time I have a good Belgian beer, it's one of the first smells I do. And there's a nice scent in here of like an orange peel. Okay, so, uh, and, and just smelling it, you can already tell right up front that the beer, even though it's a 10% alcohol by volume, it's a, a smooth, uh, malty, 10% alcohol by volume. It's not gonna be uh, like bitter or anything like that. You can, you can just tell by the smell, the way the taste are gonna come through. Now, I can tell you, it's not my first time having this beer. I have had many, many of these beers. I've had many of these beers in just the last couple of weeks uh, because I really do like it. So um, let's go ahead and, and drink it and we'll talk about the flavor a little bit now. Mmm. So right off the bat, you get that great Belgian beer, malty taste. Then you get the spices in there. I don't know if that's, uh, it's, it almost tastes like, I can taste a little bit of the thyme, but it's not super strong with thyme. So if you're worried that you're going to get a, like a thymey beer, that's not what you get. But it adds to the spices with the dark fruit and the, the orange peel. You can distinctively taste that orange peel in there. Mm. There's definitely another spice in there, which I've never really been able to decipher what the other spice is in there. I like to just call them holiday spices because that's what they do a lot of times that I'll put like, you know, cinnamon or something, you know, cinnamon flavor in there that they bring out through the mall. I don't know exactly how they do it, but whatever it is, it's genius because it's an absolutely delicious beer. Ah. Wow. 
That's just phenomenal. So they give it a, when I looked at the uh, Beer Advocate, they rated it a 91 out of 100. I would give it more than a 91 out of 100 just because I think it's so good. I might push it so far as to say it's like 95, almost, you know, like at the beginning of that world-class uh, level because it is such a delicious beer. Um, I think a lot of times the Belgian Christmas sales don't get enough credit for how uh, complex the flavors are and stuff like that. But this is a very, very tasty, delicious uh, beer. Definitely uh, 91 is a great score, don't get me wrong. That's considered an outstanding beer. And this is an outstanding beer, but I think it's, it's borderline right there on that world-class level. When you get 95 and above, it's really hard to distinguish between the you know, which, which beer is better than this. I think a lot of times it really depends on your mood because sometimes I would rather have a, a quad than a triple or a Christmas ale than, you know, a, a quad, a regular quad, you know? So it really depends on what you're in the mood for. But this beer, if you haven't had the, the nice shoe, go out there and get some of this beer. Uh, they come in four packs. They're not outrageous like a lot of the, the Belgian beers. Uh, I think you can get a, a four pack. I think I got this one for ten ninety nine, which is a really, really good deal for a good Belgian uh, Christmas sale. So uh, in comparison to others, you know, you're probably looking at five dollars a bottle. So this one spot on at ten ninety nine for a four pack. You know, you're talking about you know two dollars and seventy five cents for a beer. You cannot go wrong. This beer is every bit worth twice that. Um, so anyway, um, oh, and I want to talk a little bit about the the um, the gnomes that are on the bottle that are here by the campfire. Um, this one is, I think I got them backwards here. This one's uh, Marcel and this one's Malcolm. I think I have, that's what I have it right. That's Marcel and Malcolm are their, uh, the gnomes that uh, they do the Le Chouf, okay? Now with the Le Chouf, the they have a, uh, known uh, for their IPA because they do make an IPA, which is uh, um, that gnome. His name is Matthew, and my name happens to be Matthew. So I think it's kind of cool that they have a gnome named after me that uh, is in a Belgian IPA, and it's a really, really good IPA too. But they also make a, a cherry La Chouf, and um, the gnome on the cherry La Chouf is Michelina. Uh, so, um, that's the female, uh, La Chouf, or the she female gnome. And then, uh, the, the, the other ones, I think the blonde, just the regular blonde has the, has, uh, which one rides the unicycle? I think the one who rides the unicycle is Marcel. And then I think Malcolm by himself is on the Soleil and maybe the Brown, the Brune that they do, which are really good. But anyway, uh, that's why I brought my gnomes out, my little Florida State gnomes here to, to help uh, hang out with the good quality gnomes that we have here from the uh, Achouf Brewing Company uh, in Belgium. So cheers to everybody. Now, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about beer and drinking beer on beer issues. If you want any cool gear, like this awesome beer issues hat or t-shirts, go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues. <laughs>